Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. So I thought I'd try something a little bit different today since we've got a pretty overcast day and it's not quite as uncomfortable to be outside. I mean it's humid as hell but at least it's not hot. I pulled out a compression ignition engine. Actually I pulled out two of them. Uh, the first one here is my Russian made MK17. Uh, this is an engine that I ran God, it's probably been almost two years now since I've run it. I'll have to look at my last video, but it's been a long time. Um, I've got some homemade diesel fuel um, that I mixed up and has been in this seafoam canister. And actually, I mixed this up a year ago. It's been sealed, still smells good. I'm hoping it is good. But um, I've also got some Johnson's starter fluid here, which is how I actually extract the ether to make my own fuel. But instead of actually trying to prime this thing with the fuel because I'm not sure the fuel is good, I mean, I know the kerosene and the caster are good in there, but I don't know if the ether is still good. I'm going to use this as my starting fluid and trying to prime it with this. I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to give it a shot. It's been a long time since I've fired up a, fired up a compression ignition engine, so uh, be patient. Let's see how it goes. Prime this. Okay, so that worked well enough. Uh, this engine was actually the first compression ignition engine I ever ran. And so far in my experience, it's been the easiest to start and operate. Um, that's kind of why I pulled it out first. And it seemed to run pretty well. As you saw, I guess the ether in this fuel is still fine because I didn't need uh, any excessive or any additional um, starting fluid or anything to get it to run. And it ran really well. So, with that said, I shouldn't be doing that. That's a habit I need to break when I've got these engines on here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put another compression ignition engine on here, see if I can have the same success.
Okay, so that concludes. <laughs> I got to get out of that habit. That concludes um, the run of these two compression ignition engines. The first being the Russian made MK17, which started rather easily. This one being the uh, PAW 1.49. It too started very easily. It's the first time I've ever run one of these engines. And quite honestly, I'm pretty impressed with it. It wasn't hard to start at all. I guess I remembered enough from a couple of years ago when, I don't know when the last time was, I ran a, a compression ignition engine. I think it was my 40 FP and that was maybe a year ago. But it's been a while since I've run any of these smaller ones. So anyway, that's the runs for today. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.